Hey folks, you know that age-old question that keeps popping up? The one that goes like, should I use LibGDX versus uh, any other library or game engine? I've seen that question coming up a lot, especially in Discord and Reddit. So, let's try to put this debate to rest once and for all. The following discussion is based on James T. Kahn's opinions. Parental discretion is advised. So, here's the million dollar question. Should you use LibGDX? And the answer is... It depends. Let me break it down. So I know that's not the answer you were hoping for, but most of you probably saw that coming. Um, and the reason why is because it depends on a lot of different variables what works for you or what works for the project that you're working on. Now, I'm not going to leave you empty handed. What I'm going to do instead is I will give you some reasons why you should use libgdx. And on the opposite end, I'm going to give you reasons why you should not use it. This information should help you decide if libgdx is right for you. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share my trick for determining what engine or library I'm using when I'm starting a new project because sometimes I don't use libgdx and I'll get into that. So let's get into reasons why to use it. Number one, it's open source. You can view the code. There's nothing hidden from you and you can even download the code, modify it to your heart's content for your needs and then use that version of it. Number two, is Java or Kotlin your favorite language? Perfect. LibGDX might be the right choice for you then. Number three, does pressing a bunch of buttons and searching through hundreds of menus and using graphical user interfaces annoy you? If so, then LibGDX might be good for you because it's a code first approach. So you'll be spending almost all of your time in the code. Number four, with LibGDX, there are no licensing fees. Any profits you make go directly to you. Number five, Flexibility. With LibGDX, you can create your own architecture tailor-made for your project. Whereas sometimes with the other game engines, you are forced into an architecture that fits into that engine. Number six, and my favorite, the community. In my opinion, it is the most friendly and helpful community that I've been a part of. Now it's time to talk about some reasons not to use LibGDX. And the first one is time. Time is money, and Unity, Unreal, Godot, these engines, they have more features out of the box. If you are making a really simple game, then this may not be a problem for you. But if you're making a more complex game with complex visuals, you're going to be implementing or integrating a lot of features yourself because LibGDX just does not provide them out of the box. To give a very quick example, I needed a 3D navigation mesh to allow my AI to navigate around. And it took me about three weeks to implement that myself because LibGDX does not have anything like that built in. Whereas if you go to Unity and Unreal, a couple clicks of a button and you can have a navigation mesh. Number two, if you want to target consoles, LibGDX probably isn't the right choice. While consoles are on the roadmap, there is no date of when they will be implemented. Reason number three, there is no official LibGDX editor. There are third-party tools like Mundus for 3D, and then you have Hyperlap 2D and uh, Tiled as well, but there's no official editor. Reason number four, and this one has to do with 3D more so. The 3D API, it doesn't have a lot of features out of the box. So that means you'll probably have to implement things yourself. So if you are not comfortable with shaders, you're going to need to learn them if you want to do more advanced things in 3D. Reason number five, learning resources. Compared to Unity and Unreal, there are not nearly as many tutorials out there for LibGDX. So if you're not good at figuring things out for yourself or doing a lot of research, then LibGDX may not be for you. Okay, so that's it. Those are my reasons why I believe you should or should not use LibGDX. I tried to keep things simple and very high level, but feel free to drop a comment if you want to provide some of your own reasons. 
And so now I'm going to end the video with a little trick that I use when I'm starting a new project, especially if I'm thinking of using a new engine that I have not used before. And I think of it as like speed dating. So what you do is try libgdx out for a week, make a really simple game. Then go to one of the other engines that you're thinking about using, recreate that same game in one week's time. Now by the end of that, you'll probably know which one you want to go with depending on the experiences you had with those two engines. And that could save you months or even years of time by testing out the tools ahead of time, give yourself a week on each one, and then know which one do you want to spend the next six months to several years working in. So that's it for this video. I've been trying to branch out on the channel and try out different ideas. Let me know if you liked the video and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.